The beekeeping industry manages colonies of the European honeybee. However, the Asian honeybee, which are quite similar to the European, are often found in the wild. While the Varroa destructor is a threat to the European honeybee, another species of Varroa, known as Varroa jacobsoni, affects the Asian honeybee. In July 2016, Varroa jacobsoni was found in Townsville, Queensland, Australia. Thankfully, this Varroa jacobsoni does not jump between species and was destroyed immediately. Since July, a quarantine program has been set up to eliminate the threat. We don't know if it is inevitable that the varroa will end up in Australia, but we can do our best to prolong it. It is a problem that directly affects a few and indirectly affects the whole population. How many of you today really knew there was anything like this to be worried about? Yes, bees are small. Yes, they can hurt when they sting you, but really they are helping the environment thrive. Shouldn't we do the same to keep them alive? <laughs>